Good morning, everybody. We are here, Lake Cayuga. First day of practice was yesterday. Give me a little bit of a rundown on this body of water. Yeah, I have a little bit of history with it. We got second and last PPT event here. DC won the event on smallmouth. This time of year is well known for smallmouth. Uh, a lot of times they're sliding up and spawning in places just like this. And um, that's why I don't have a rod in my hand. I'm sitting here drinking it drinking an uh, energy drink this morning. Um, it's a long day, 16 hour day yesterday. Started on the water at five o'clock, got off the water at, uh, at nine. So long, long days, but this is the thing. I, I sort of anticipated this tournament to be one of those things that like I was gonna like catch a lot of fish. It was gonna be so much fun, catch them any way you want it, want to, but I've quickly realized it is not that way. It's not that easy. They feel like these, a lot of these fish are just sort of in transit. They're sort of wanting to push up but in some of them have, but they haven't like made that giant push. In addition to that, the conditions aren't helping us. We had a, now look, it's glass calm right now. Now look, but yesterday, listen, it was not, it was, it was bumpy and it was rolling. So um, each day it's sort of gonna blow a little bit, which 10 knots on this body of water is, um, it's blowing. So we're gonna go out here, see if we can't find a few more fish and sort of try to add to what we've already found. And uh, so far the practice has not been easy, but uh, hopefully we can find a couple of the right ones. So the sun popped out right here, and, and, and now I can definitely see a lot more, a lot better, obviously. It's uh, clarity is probably five feet, you know, you're still not seeing a lot. And you can sort of see like the rock and that shell up on there on the bank. That's sort of like a little bit of a representation of what's going on underneath the water. So like a lot of times like when I'm looking for places that are small enough spawning, that's sort of the combination that you're looking for like right there. It's like good, good shaley rock mix um, where I ultimately can get that protection of the rocks, but then also get that, that the shale and all that it really allows them to sort of fan their beds out and, and, and what they want, but uh, typically it's what they want. So far we've not found any on, on this particular side, but we're gonna keep on moving and see if we can find them. It's sooner or later it'll, it'll happen. Three and a half. Hope we hopefully we don't need those. So. Three and a half pounder. All right, I'm about to catch one. Goal is see the goal is for this tournament is to find the five biggest bass. Now, day one, try to catch those, see what you can catch. I'll probably run to my best ones, and then sort of go from there. I'm sorry you all, I know there's not been a lot of fish catches in this particular video right now, but this is the thing, you know, I'm keeping my peepers open, looking, and, and, and it's just all about, you know, putting together a plan, you know, wind's going to change direction, finding, you know, fish on each side of the lake, no matter how hard the wind blows, you have some that are protected, some that are not, um, having some backup smaller ones if you need to catch one or something like that, that maybe not everybody's going to find, maybe a deeper one. That's really the whole, really strategy in a sight fishing tournament. Saving some and catching the ones that you feel like, especially being group A this week, feeling, you know, like that for the most part, it's just really like figuring out, uh, understanding maybe like one, a few, a few fish you're gonna start on. And then like what areas are getting a lot of pressure and what areas do you feel like maybe you could save? Um, it's gonna be more of a, a progression of the week because now new fish might push up. Um, the large mouth in the north end, they're really being funny right now, but they just got up there. So will they lock on? There's a lot of different things that are gonna you know, transpire throughout the next few days of this tournament. But uh, we're, pretty, we're pretty locked in right now. I'm gonna keep, keep hunting, pecking, and I almost caught you one back there. I almost caught, I was going to catch one. And then I was like, no, then I got, it was a little bit bigger than I thought it was. So I was like, uh, I don't know. All right, let's try to, uh, let's try to figure this thing out. I'm trying to find a big, I need like a thing. Now this is what's crazy here, real quick here. 
the state record smallmouth of all of New York, think about that, all of New York was caught here, okay, about this same time of year. So, I mean, there's a chance that the state record smallmouth will be caught in this front. I wouldn't count, I guess, because it was during, it would be during the catch and, re catch and release season, but it, it's still a chance. on the bottom. Hold up. All right, shit about it now. Stop that. There we go. All right, so we caught that fish. Actually, the fish seems like it's been up there a little while. So, I'll weigh him and just sort of see. I wanted to see exactly what we were looking at. That's actually a skinny fish. So he's actually been up there probably for a little while. Red eyes. Let's see what he is. He officially weighs. 3.08. Three point oh, so that's a three pounder. And if he was tall, he'd be. If I was a fresh one. Three and a half. So. Well, finishing up practice, and um, that was a uh, that was a lot better of a day. Morning started off pretty slow. But um, I think I think we found a few fish, you know, and that's all you really can ask for. I don't know um, how many other guys found those. You know, we have maybe enough to, to last a couple days, but uh, we'll just sort of see what the conditions are like, you know. And I think it's it's going to be really windy. But overall, I mean, I, I I'm pretty excited to go out there and, and reel a few in. I mean, it's. it's uh, I mean, <laughs> I'm tired of shaking them off. We only caught like four bass total, uh, three bass, I think. Four bass, three large mouth, two small mouth. So five bass in practice. And tomorrow we get to uh, uncover and open up uh, the presents. Let's sort of see what we got. Bill Lewis. Straight double crossbow. <laughs> hey, look, real Bill in the, in the comments. I'm like, I don't even know what he's talking about. The sign of what? Like, Come on, no way, son. Or? Right, like, we don't. And then I look over there and I see the sign, and the sign say private property. Right? No. And I'm like, yes. Yeah, I'm like, I didn't tell him I see the sign. I, 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 I can't hear you, bro. I fish limit tournament. And you was like, for real, like, I had blast off. And you're in a boat race to an eight pounder. And y'all both get there at the same time. You ain't about to leave, are you? What you gonna do? Normally somebody doesn't get there at the same time. Normally. No, what's the odds of this though? We get there at the same time. No, no, we are there at the same time. It lines in. It lines in. <laughs> what do you do? Do you give them the eight pounder? Cast for cast. What do you do? You get a cast, I get a cast. I, I'm 
mean, look, I'm down to do paper, rock, scissors if you want to. Paper, rock. He's the only one I know that says it backwards. Paper, rock, rock paper, scissors. <laughs> he says it every time backwards. So let, let's say just by happenstance, you're chopping down the lake and you're right beside some guy. And he's running straight towards your eight pounder. And y'all both set down at the same time. Who pitches on it when lines in? I, I don't know. That's a big question to ask. Giant enormous question that I don't know the answer to. That's a once in a lifetime bass. I mean, it is. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying that fish weighs eight. I'm just saying like he's a big, he's a big fish. But I don't. I'm just saying like in circle like, for example. This is what's up. DC, put the cut weight. He put the cut weight. At 20 pounds. At 20 pounds a day. That means 40 pounds, okay? Anything below that. Now listen, okay, hold up. Before that, anything above or below, you have the option, okay? Over or under. All three of us picked underneath 40 pounds. So, last, now last term, I'll let you know. I, I, made, I made the line. Y'all said under, it was over, and I got paid $300. Now, Mark, you're still over, but it's okay. It's would, okay. What did you say? I, I, mean, I still, still owe you? You still owe me, but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. How you do the math on that? Well, it's $100. <coughs> I'll pay my debts, bro. I, don't, I, I, owe you, I, I owe you from last year? No, last oh, week. Oh, last tournament. Oh, yeah, okay. last tournament. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's still there. Okay. Now, but this is the good thing, okay? We all said under... And that means DC can pay me Mark's money. And then oh, pay yeah. me another hundred when, when I get that money too. <laughs> there we go. That's real. What yeah. do you guys think, Sizzle? I don't know. We shall see. The week is it's, it's, it's early on. The tournament is early. It ain't even started yet. But I will say this. Don't be surprised if it's over 40. I'll say that. I, I'm going to be surprised. I will. Me? Me now you I might be on the gore and he's all listen, he jives with Cayuga, man. He just he's got a good feeling. He won no, last I, time. This ain't even relating to me. I just know what time of year it is and I know what's happening right now. And like I know what these guys are gonna do. They got eight <laughs> hours to go out and catch some three and a half to three and three quarters and one big one. That's gonna happen for twenty guys out of forty. Hundred percent. You cannot tell me 20 will not catch a five-pounder. There will be 20 five-pounders caught by 20 boats tomorrow. And to add in with that, these fish look two and a half pounds, and they get, catch four more of those three and a halfs, dub. Mark it. Taking y'all's money to the casino, throwing it all on black. <laughs> we'll find out. Now I'm we'll convincing y'all. Look, look, look at it. He's already convinced now. He knows it. No. I bet you a hundred dollars that blue boat over there's got over twenty pounds tomorrow. Oh, oh. I, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I promise you.